It's the Duran World 3rd Anniversary Special. I'm taking a look back at some of the videos that define Duran World. <laughs> Awkward moments. Ooh, rude. And lots of laughs. You wanna pray about it? <laughs> All that and more as Duran World celebrates Year 3. Hello everybody and welcome back to Duran World for the returning people and for people just joining us, hello. Um, Duran World is on year three, who would have thunk it? Not me, not me. I really didn't know what I was doing when I created this channel and now it's three years old and I have done a pretty good amount of things. So I thought, you know, why don't I just celebrate it and just wish Duran World a happy birthday. And I'm gonna go through some of my favorite videos and some behind the scenes information that you know is kind of top secret you guys don't know about. And give you guys a little bit of tea behind some of the makings of Duran World in the past three years. So, let's get started. Birds do it, bees do it, even educated fleas do it. So what some of you may not know is the reason that <laughs> the anniversary or the birthday is on February 14th is because I uploaded my first video, which was a song on Valentine's Day. I don't know why I chose that day. I don't know why I decided to sing a song. I just, you know, I do what I do based on how I feel at the time. And that's what I felt like doing at the time. So here, I'm gonna play it. Okay, Tony, okay, Tony. Why I straight the default. I love that shirt. I actually love that shirt. I still have it. I think I have it in two different colors. I have it, one in rainbow and one in that regular color. Let's do it. Let's fall in love. You know, I thought it was a good retro moment. I thought it was, you know, something that we could all just like, oh. Did I actually recorded that on my phone in the study room of my college place you know what i mean college residence that's where i record it all right so now let's get into my first official talking video was a little all over the place but you know it is what it is it was in the beginning stages i just learned how to use final cut pro so i was like playing around with it that's how i was i'm self-taught um with editing so i just literally will keep like i was just messing with stuff a whole bunch of stuff so i was just playing around for the most part i was playing around and you know created this four minute video that was my introduction i guess to the youtube community One sister, one grandmother, and four dogs. Yes. That is a lot of food. Well, I'm actually in school right now. I'm a senior. so weird watching that now it's like so many things you would change but you know you get what you get when you get it and that we're just gonna call that growth we're just gonna call that growth like I said I didn't know what I was doing when I when I first started this channel I was like I don't know what I'm gonna talk about do people even want to talk to me I'm very 
to myself kind of person. So that, this was a big thing for me. And so that video kind of, I, I kept some of my promises, I would say. I would ke I kept some of my promises from that first video. So that was, it's so fun to look at old times. Old times, it's not really the old series ago, but it's old to me. It's old to me because I've changed a lot since then. But I will not harp on that any longer, darling. Moving on. To then have your people tell you that you can't fit in because you, because you're too dark, that hurts. Because it's not about who you are as a person; it's about how the world sees you. Hip hop, R and B, music videos, and all the girls are light skinned. They dark skinned. Then there's something very special about them, like light eyes or something, something. This uh standard that has been ingrained in white America since the, the dawn of time. It's always going to be a lighter skin person. Colorism, the black experience, a two-part event only on Duran World. So the colorism video, I always wanted to talk about colorism. I've um, found it a great issue in the black community. So that's why I wanted to do it for Black History Month. All of those interviews were done separately um, on Zoom. I thought it was important to talk about it among the community because it's really like, if you watch the full thing, it's really different experiences for everyone. But at the root of it, it's still about different preconceived notions about who you are as a person just because of the color of your skin. And I, I really wanted to highlight that and I'm, I'm glad I did that um, last year. And if you wanna watch it for Black History Month this year, you definitely can. Um, so that's up there and I'm, that, I'm, I'm really proud of that. That's one, actually my most viewed video on YouTube now, the colorism special and I, I didn't expect it to be that big, but <laughs> it, it, that's my biggest, highest um, viewed video. And I'm proud of that because I felt like it was a discussion that needed to be had and it opened up the floodgates for more conversations um, that I hope and just hope that people walked away from that um, feeling differently. When I do those videos, type of videos, I'm always very careful about the timing and what to cut out, what did it do? Cause I'm like, I'm literally the editor, producer uh, in, in all of these and writer for some of the openings. And so I just, I, I always waver on what to cut out. That's why I upload some bonus stuff. But that one, it was kind of difficult cause there was a lot of good stuff, but I couldn't find a way to fit it in. I feel like the message still got across and I feel like it still made an impact. But that one was really hard for me to figure out what to put in and what to, to take out because I mean I could I could have done any extended cut but it was already two parts and it was like all it was like an hour each I don't like to go over an hour with certain things but I'm glad it got a chance to be seen and a lot of people enjoyed it and it sparked conversation so I'm proud of that one where my brain should be there's a cavern where most folks have hearts I've got all spare now I'm on my own in the great unknown And there's more than one person can bear That was actually my second film. I loved doing that. I loved that film. I thought it was such a big moment for me. I thought that was such a reflective moment for me. I talked about some things I'd never talked about and I had like a little platform to do it. I didn't expect it to be two hours of me talking. That's the most anybody's ever heard me talk up to that point. I really enjoyed it. That was my second film on the channel. The first one was my senior honors project, with, which was Tainted. Um, but I, re I really enjoy it. I feel like I opened up more. I feel like I opened up more than I, I normally would have. And I did it documentary style the way I wanted it to. Editing for that stylistically, I loved what I did with it, making it like a VHS. You know, I'm very retro. I like the retro vintage things of the 90s. So I, I really enjoyed what I did with that. So I'm proud of that. And no matter if anybody ever watches it, I'm proud of it because it's basically my story and I can see where I was when I graduated um, college, which is like a monumental thing in everyone's life when they graduate from, I don't know, wherever they're coming from, whether it's like college, high school, like it's just, you're going into a different phase of life. And um, I thought that was very important that I did that. And the song in that first promo is from The Muppets Wizard of Oz. Oh my God, the sun's going down. 
Um, but it's from the Muppets Wizard of Oz, and I I, I loved that song. I thought it, it fit so well. I think I just had a voice memo. I was like, let me just use this. If you want to hear me talk for two hours, um, and see where I was. That was actually three years ago as well. But um, three years ago, uh, graduation, the journey. If you ain't heard of the real quarantine, that's fine. That means we've done a great job of keeping it a nice little secret. Welcome to Quarantine. Going outside is fun, but social distancing is so much better. Where everyone stays in. If you don't follow the rules, you might be asked to leave the call. What I tell you about calling me unannounced. Nobody's attacking you. Not your own business. It is my business. There's no place for her in our quarantine life. The Real Quarantiners of Corona. Season premiere next Sunday at 9. Only by Duran World. Every Sunday by Duran World. It's a new day in quarantine. Of course we're still stuck in the house. I just got off my world tour. Quarantine for me hasn't been that bad. I created a praise dance. But in quarantine... Viruses come and go, but friends never go. Some things never change. You want to pray about it? Uh-uh, shut up, bitch. That's why your graduation got canceled. You gonna get punched in your face with my gloves off. Somebody mute this bitch. End the call. End the call. I'm done. Lord have mercy. Give us this tea, Jesus. Give it to us. The Real Quarantiners of Corona. Season premiere next Sunday at 9. Only by Duran World. This wonderful creation of mine, this fan base creation of mine, uh, this spoof of mine has really, it's, it's just been, it taught me a lot of how I edit and how I want myself to look. That first season, so much stuff could have been done better. I, I, it's just so much stuff could have been done better. Um, but when you know better, you do better. And I'm, I'm glad people enjoy it. it, it but I'm glad people enjoy it. I'm glad for everybody that participated. Um, and then we came out with season two. I that one I loved. I, I thought it was very funny. I thought it was funny. I didn't know who would watch it. I'm glad some people did, but it was just like a very fun spoof to do. I definitely enjoyed season two better. I, I thought it was more put together. But yeah, it was all a learning experience. There may be a season three. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that. But I thought it was I thought it was very fun. I thought it was fun to do and I'm I would be open to doing another one. Uh with more people it's, it's that that experience for me sometimes i because i put a lot of pressure on myself so i that one i'm just like i like the way season two was edited better so i don't really go back to season one to even look at stuff but i'm glad that i did it, it was a fun thing for this channel i think it brought um some fun and liveliness to it especially with everyone who was involved um in creating that so i thought it was fun <laughs> I am so excited to be hosting my first ever holiday event. I've asked some of my friends to sing some of their favorite Christmas songs from home, and you're invited to join in on the holiday fun. The first ever Who's in the House holiday special, Sunday, 8, 7 central, only on Duran World. It's time. Sunday, Duran's back to celebrate the holidays. Experience the holiday magic as we tis the season for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. You want to raise some money? And we're featuring some surprise guests to join in on the holiday fun. I don't think you're going to want to miss this. The 2021 Who's in the House Holiday Special, premiering Sunday at 8, only on The Ron World. The Christmas specials. I love doing the Christmas specials. I love Christmas. Can we, can we just do it again without the just the negative saying that you don't like the tour? Just I don't like it. Though. I know, but say this I is, go through but hell. Up, no, I go through good. hell the tour. Thing, okay, then I, I'll make it positive then. Yeah, it's just, well, you know the truth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and action. I love to tour. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to <laughs> Why are you all start laughing? I'm ready to get into it. I love um, creating it how I want it. And when I decided to take on the holiday special, because I have so many like talented friends that can sing, so I'm just like, and other people I like I follow and 
just the idea of like getting all of them together. I thought it would be a wonderful t opportunity for me to, you know, practice editing more and then um, also giving a people to shine um, on my channel, which is what I love to do. Um, give people a chance to showcase their talents, showcase everything. Also give myself a chance to grow as an editor and a host and performer, whatever I, <laughs> I am at the time. And because I'm a multitude of things, darling. I mean, I, literally, I feel like I'm everything. So I'm in control, but I'm out of control and I'm also um, controlled. So in a way, I'm everything. <laughs> that first year was a little challenging because first of all, it was a new thing. And then second of all, it was a lot of people. A lot more people said yes than I expected. Certain people had to be cut out. And with that came a few hard feelings uh, regarding that with certain individuals. I'm not gonna say who, I'm not gonna harp on those. But yes, there was a lot of cutting and editing and trying to figure out what would be the best way. Cause I don't want people to get on my channel and be, you know, I don't want to set anybody up, you know? If, I, if I'm looking at it like, and everybody else looking at it like, because I, I did get second opinions on some of those. And so I, I did my best. I did my best with that first year. And so for the second year, I was like, this is what we're not gonna do. So you know better, you do better. You know better, you do better. I know what to do with those from now on. But yeah, hopefully that's a tradition that continues each year. You never know what's in store, darling. You never know what's in store. Getting festive and, and coming up with different ways to decorate and to get bigger and better each year. I think that's gonna be like a, a thing for me um, with this channel in general, but also with um, with the holiday special, which I love to do. So it's always a best moment. You never know what's gonna happen this year. Three lessons I have learned in the past three years from this channel is as follows. I mean, I've learned a lot of things um, from this channel in the past three years, but one of the biggest ones is to stay on your own path. I know that's like a generic one, but it's so easy. It's so easy as anybody who creates, who's a creative to get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Why are they so big? Why am I still here? Why am I there? And that's like, it's their journey, it's their path. That's them. Is that your business? No. And if it's not, move on. Like, it's just making sure you stay in that, in your lane so you don't get caught up and worry about what anybody else is doing or what's going on in their life. You need to just focus on you. And that's something that I've learned doing this channel because I'm like, why am I doing all this work and nobody's watching? Why would I worry about someone else? I need to just focus on what I'm doing. Cause eventually somebody's gonna see it. Somebody's gonna see it and be like, oh my God, I love what you do. Oh my God, can we do this? Let's collaborate, something like that. So it's, 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 not, it's not going to be in vain. Just continue to just do you and just stay in your lane, whatever you're creating, whatever you're passionate about, continue to do it because eventually somebody's gonna, gonna buy you. somebody's gonna come by so if you just keep creating and staying in your lane you're never gonna go wrong you're never gonna go wrong just creating what you want to create and focusing solely on what you want to do in your journey another thing that i learned is do what motivates you don't try to do what somebody else is doing don't try to replicate what somebody else is doing create something that's unique to you what motivates you don't just do something to do something and that's what I have learned. Because if I'm not passionate about a video, I'm not gonna do it. Like, it's, it, I don't have any motivation to do it, I'm not gonna do it. So focus on doing what you want to do and what motivates you for you. <laughs> and so just, just find that balance. What do you like? What are your interests? What topics do you like to discuss? Once you figure that out, it'll be easier for you. And making that decision of where you wanna go with your channel or whatever you're doing. It, this goes, this applies to life, but it also applies to YouTube in general or whatever content, create a platform you're on. I'm not gonna say names, I'm not gonna say names, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it at all. I'm not gonna do it at all, at all, at all. I'm not gonna do it at all, but um, whatever you're doing, whatever you're creating, just do what motivates you. Because if it motivates you, then you're gonna have a good result. If it doesn't, it's gonna be lackluster and you're not really gonna care. So, that's that one, period. And the last big lesson I learned is to always be authentic. Don't try to fake it. Because if you try to fake it, there are so many videos that got scrapped because I was like, I am being so fake in this. I am 
I, 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 do, I don't like that. And so um, I just stopped the camera and I was like, we're gonna try it again another day if I feel like it, if I feel up to it, if I feel like this is something that I genuinely want to discuss, if this is something I genuinely wanna do, then I'll do it. If not, it doesn't happen. And so just be authentic and being who you are when you are in front of the camera, when you are creating what you're doing, when you're planning what to do, like I do, like I plan out my videos and what I want to do. Be authentic in what you want to express. Have an intention with what you want to come across. Having that in mind is very crucial, at least for me, from my experience, crucial for me in creating content. If you're authentic, if you have a good intention, it'll come across. It, it'll come across so you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about like oh somebody's gonna figure out what i'm really trying to do it's just like just be authentic just be yourself and it'll work out it'll all work out and that's what i believe so it'll all work out it'll all work out thank you all for taking time to go down memory lane with me i hope for another three or more years you never know and sharing more content and getting bigger and bigger on this platform creating and discussing things that need to be discussed um, <laughs> making content that's entertaining and also valuable. So thank you for watching, for everyone who's been watching for the past three years, and thank you for new people who are just jumping on board. Um, like I said in my first video, subscribe. And I think that's a wrap for today. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you next time. Abuse that I endure! Wait, you gonna do?